Keith's car. Yeah, Keith. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Will explains the strict protocol she was subjected to when attending a royal event. All the girls, we would line up and there were different stations for having your lashes put on or your extensions put in or the padding in your bra. Whoops, sorry! We mean her time as a deal or no deal briefcase girl because she's now saying it made her feel like a bimbo. So she's on her podcast and she's talking about how it made her feel bad that it was all about looks and it wasn't about her brain. Because there was a very very cookie cutter idea of precisely what we should look like. What season was she on? Two. Yeah. So there was a season one where they stand there and they smile with holding a briefcase. Have you ever signed up for something and thought it was going to be one thing yeah. and you didn't? A oh, woman yeah. who had been who has been literally looked at just because of the fit, like her physical, and that's it. That was the gig. Well, Megan thought that the briefcase ladies were all capable of so much more. And by the way, I was surrounded by smart women on that stage with me, but that wasn't the focus of why we were there. This wasn't just, oh, it made me feel bad. It's like now all of a sudden we have intelligent women here and the producers wouldn't show them how intelligent they are. Because maybe she's trying to make a change in that type of situation. What were they supposed to do? Tell us the square root of nine? Like, what were they supposed to do? Exactly. They could if they wanted to. See? Anyway, Megan said she was grateful for the job, but just couldn't do it anymore. She said that she didn't like how it made her feel, and that's okay. Did you hear the shadowy banker complain about his role? <laughs> no, and he was completely objectified for his brain. Disgusting. Thanks, Megan. No deal.